Hello there, this is Fed by NoviOptions.com and we are continuing our so let's write first here Fed by NoviOptions.com we are continuing our by Options Academy with the um, with one of the most interesting let's say chapter in our uh, in our settings there I'm talking about the oscillators on the previous uh, on the previous project if you go on fairbinaryoptions.com and you look at our projects presented there on the previous project we looked at the trend indicators that are used to um, or a trader is uh, is using them in order to follow a trend now even more importantly there are the oscillators and oscillators um, basically they try to mimic the price so that is the uh, the thing that one should understand they try to mimic the price but in reality um, they should uh, be used in uh, helping traders to avoid fake moves that price is making um, in the MetaTrader or in the, the JForex like it is the case here the oscillators are basically the same and offered by any um, by any let's say um, broker but on the standard uh, platform but they have the same interpretation if you go for example on the indicators tab here and then under the momentum indicators the momentum indicators are the oscillators as um, opposed to the trend indicators that were uh, shown in the overlap studies now all these here are oscillators we are talking about I don't know <coughs> Aaron or Aaron oscillator here the commodity channel index which is a very well known uh, oscillator all the MA MACD if you go on the projects on the binary options academy you will actually uh, find the uh, trading binary options with the MACD which was an indicator an oscillator as well the momentum is a very famous uh, oscillator as well the uh, moving average of oscillators the OS OSMA this is one of the most popular one because it represents the differences or let's say the average of all the oscillators offered by a trading platform and uh, this is the average of them now of course the indicators or oscillators as the, these are indicators as well they are supposed to show a trader um, the fake moves or entry signals uh, in when trading uh, binary options or when trading financial markets in general now the problem is that if you use too many indicators or oscillators in one uh, in one screen you will get different signals based on those indicators so the traps to be avoided or the, the things um, to be done should relate first of all with the with a clear understanding of a, of an indicator or oscillator and uh, then uh, looking to apply those let's say um, outcomes to the financial markets or the financial product that is traded the most famous one of course is the relative strength index as you very well know and if you put the, ver the relative strength index on the chart then it should look something like this and it represents it represents the let's say the oscillator here re represents depending on the period that you put here the 14 so it represents the uh, last 14 candles on this time frame which is four hours so four hour times 14 and according to the mathematical formula on the on the RSI the result is being plotted on the screen so actually a uh, an oscillator is more accurate than price itself or shows a more accurate information because it takes into account the last 14 candles now if you put for example this is the 14 but if you edit let's try to edit the indicator here and if we uh, if we change it from the 14 period I don't know let's change this to 24 or whatever and you will see that it is it is simpler or smoother if you want because it takes into account so this value here 3346 takes into account the last 24 candles again the um, the nature of an oscillator is to show the real price the real movements price 
uh, price made and uh, it depends very much on the time frame that it is applied on and it, it depends very much again on the period that is um, that is taken into account trying to avoid fake moves with the oscillators is one of the m most important things when trading for what does it mean fake moves to take a look at the price price here makes a high the oscillator makes a high and then price here makes a low when compared with the previous low but the oscillator goes here but is not making a new low so one of them is lying here one move is a fake one which one this is what the oscillator should help traders to do or here for example uh, price makes a high but then price fails to make a new high well the oscillator makes a new high and take into account if the oscillator makes a new high taking into account the last 14 periods and price makes a high on that specific candle then something is fishy and the trader should know what to uh, what to do uh, what to do with that now this is the standard interpretation with the RSI we already have an educational project on fairbinaryoptions.com on the binary options academy so i invite you to go and take a look how to trade binary options with the uh, with the RSI but for the purpose here of uh, showing you the the oscillators i would like to uh, move in the second part with the uh, OSMA or the average um, the, of the average of oscillators and to see how to apply that oscillator to binary options trading. Bye bye.